Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a candy cane skull for this 12 days of Christmas. If you want to see how we created it, make sure you stay tuned. We're jumping right in with Mayron's Paradise Paints in the basic palette. We're going to use the white just to outline our face and where the skull features are going to be. I use the white just because it's a little bit easier to clean up. You can also use a white liner to do this if you aren't using any body paints to create this look. Now if you have trouble for any reason figuring out where these spots will be for the skull, feel around your face to find where your natural bone structure is and find where it starts and ends and that should help you figure out how to create the skull on your face. Now I'm just going to go in and fill in all the spots that are going to be hollowed out with white because we're going to be doing a candy cane striped pattern within them. I did the nose as well because that usually the nose is hollowed out as well. Um, but yeah, just fill that in with white paint. If you're doing any other um, pattern on the inside or any other structure, um, figure out what color you're putting in there and you can fill it in with that. Now, these stripes are definitely very tedious and very hard to do. I'm using brushes from Royal and Lane Nickel that I got from Hobby Lobby. They are not regular brushes. These are meant for regular painting and arts and crafts, but these are great for body painting. The brushes are very long tipped, but they are very dense as well, but they're flexible for me. Um, when I did these stripes, I wish I had more space so I could put the thinner lines within them. Um, but it just happened that way. But these Royal and Lane Nickel brushes worked really, really well for creating these lines and stripes that I was doing all over the face um, when I'm lining anything as well. They just do amazing. When I picked these up this year, um, they've really been my go-to for any of my body painting looks when I need to do anything super detailed and whatnot. And they have different sizes and tips and even um, bigger flat brushes so definitely take a look into the arts and crafts brushes because they don't just have stuff for makeup here we are adding the green to our face now this green was not in the palette i mixed some white and green in the palette which just lightened it and then i had to add some yellow to get this um super more of a bright grinchy green that we needed um but here we are adding the circles around our eyes that we needed um, and then we're going to fill those in and make them into peppermints. But again, for the green, it was white and green to my desired amount. And then I added yellow as needed and sometimes even a little orange just to help it give it the brightness that of the Grinchy color. I don't even know why we're comparing it to the Grinch, but yeah, that's kind of like the color, the Grinchy color. I didn't even realize we were going with that. <laughs> Going back in with our Royal and Lane Nickel brushes just to create these stripes um, and peppermint swirls on the eyes. Um, again, these lines aren't super clean, um, but once you go in and fill them in and take our time, they really clean up really well. And these brushes do work. I love them. They were everything for this look, and I use them for all my body paint looks. If you guys are looking in the descriptions down below, I usually list them. But as you can see, they're doing the job. So here we are using the James Charles Alicia Inner Artist Palette and we're going in with Daddy here around the edges of the skull structure, the jaw bones and the temples and we'll go around my eye sockets and stuff just to deepen them to kind of give it some more dimension and depth and whatnot. Um, and then when we go to blend them a little bit more with more of a fluffy brush, we're going to use Social Bleed which is about the green color just to help blend them in naturally and give it more of a finish. You can see the cheekbones pop a little bit more as well. But here I am using some of the smaller detailed eye brushes from Luxie from their holiday collection um, which these brushes are another must have in your kit just because they're great for eyes and detailed stuff like this. But we're going to go right on those bone structures, the temples, the eyes. Um, I literally went around a lot of things with this, packed it on really well, and blended it out. And then when I went in with another color is when I switched up the brush. So, these Luxie brushes are amazing. Make sure you grab some. They've been having amazing deals since Black Friday.
Now here we are doing the teeth to this skull. I'm actually using a nail detailed brush that I got from Shop Missé on their website. And we're just going with the body paints and shaping them. We will then fill them in with white and then I'm going to line them with a red just to help them stand out a little bit. Um, but yeah, pretty simple and to the point. Here we are just adding some stripes to the neck. My white ones were not in um, frame, so we did some of the red ones to show you guys. And if you guys are doing big stripes like this, your concealer brushes or foundation brushes work really well for doing this kind of stuff. So keep that in mind because they're pretty flat and pretty dense as long as they're pretty wet for the body paints. Here we are just lining around the jaw bones. And then we're going to go around the eyes and line them with black to make them pop a little bit. But using those royal lane nickel brushes yet again. Here is our finished look for the peppermint skull or the candy cane skull today. Um, peppermints or candy canes seem to be really a trending thing this season. I have to say I'm really loving them. I did go in and add some glitter from Glitter Addict. We used some chunky glitter. We used some green glitter. We put some red glitter on those peppermints and on those stripes. So I think it really added something and a little bone to my messy hair. So yeah, I really love it. I hope you guys loved it as much as I did. I hope you guys are loving the 12 days of Christmas so far. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you're not missing any videos or anything that we're doing. And I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Love you!